Hello, everybody. Today, we are going to see batch management in SAP EMR. So, vendor specific batch. I'm going to create a vendor specific batch. Let me show you in the system. This is my live system. Go to MSC 1N. Before that, let me create a material. Before creating a batch, let me create a material. Go to EMR 01. Mechanical engineering raw material. Press enter. Press enter again. Here my plant is double one double. My story location is double one double. Press enter. So much. KG. I'm going to buy it in KG. Metal group I'm entering. Press enter. Batch management. Select this batch management. Oh, yeah. Okay. Enter valuation plus. One day. Go to one seven. It's my material. Go to one seven is my material. So what is batch now? It's a it's a numeric number attached to a material. It is also a master data wherein a set of attributes assigned to the material. So when you do GR, for example, when you do GR today, today's date is 24, 2022. So this date, when you do GR, this date is assigned to the batch. So so that based on that batch, we can when, when, if there is any quality issues as arising or arising, then based on the batch, we can take it from which batch it has come to, on which date. If it, if it is today's date, then today's date batch it is assigned. So we can take, uh, we can tell the vendor that on this date you have sent the material and it is a problem, it is a defective material. So that is so called batch. I go to MSC 1N, MSC 1N. Select plant, select storage location, present. Yes. So this is vendor specific batch and wait. Date of manufacturing. First of April. SLED is shelf life expiry date. Okay. Shelf life shelf life expiry date, three months ago. So if it is put three months. Now enter the vendor. Yep. 01 is my vendor. So this is a vendor specific batch. Okay, available date from it's a date. So available from first of this month. So all these three attributes, three dates are assigned to the batch, to this batch, 562 batch. So this batch, where if, if the material is coming in this batch, when the uh, material is coming in this batch, when we do goods result on this batch. If there is any problem, any quality problem arises in this batch, we can easily tell the vendor that this batch your material has arrived and it has a defective problem, defect problem. Okay. So these are all the attributes assigned to this batch 562 batch. Now save. 560. Now I'm going to create a purchase order. Me 21 here. So it's a vendor specific batch. Vendor, enter the vendor, F01. Purchase of double one, double one. Purchasing group, enter the purchasing group. Enter material, go to one seven. Enter quantity, 10 quantity, kg. So enter the plant, head price. Enter plant, story location and batch. We're going to select, select batch. Enter story location, enter batch. 562 is my batch. Let me select it from here. 
delete all this. See, 562 is my patch. And the specific patch, save. Four five triple zero one eight one two three is my PO. That is all. Go to dash in. I will do boots as it might. Enter one eight one two three four five triple zero one eight one two three. I will do boots as a batch ID in menu. Click onto this. Item OK. Check and post. Oh, post. So it's been posted. Now let me check the inventory. MMP. Remove this batch. Execute. See a batch. Batch has been assigned. So this batch is assigned with the attributes shelf life expiry date, date available, uh, available from date, and Manufacturing date, that is production date, and the vendor is assigned to this batch. If you want to see this batch, go to MSC 3N and check it. It's my batch. See it? All these attributes are assigned to this batch. Thank you.